Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity on behalf of StarCast TV. Upper left-hand corner, we have Royal starting as the Brown Terran. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Snow starting as the Teal Protoss. This is on Fighting Spirit. Should be a fun one. I'm curious to see Royal's defense against Snow's inevitable Reaver drops. Snow is really a Terran saboteur of excellence. He just is the... When I think of his play... I just think of how brutally strong he is versus Terran of all kind. So Royal has his work cut out for him. Royal's typical MO is to go for early vultures, early something, and oftentimes take a quick third and play from there. Oftentimes ending up economically ahead over his Protoss opponent. So usually where Protoss are trying to play that gateway man or play that economic edge game, I feel like Royal oftentimes will for whatever reason, just be ahead of that and just be even on supply where most Protoss are looking to be 20 supply ahead and just control the game from there. That being said, I would be shocked if Snow on Fighting Spirit did not opt to go for some form of early Reaver drop play. So we'll see how Royal opts to try to mitigate that style of strategy. Initial SCV making its way out. See if it uh, scouts bottom left first, gateway being plopped down from Snow. It is possible we're just going to see one gate into expand. Oh, I take it back. Barracks being built on the low ground for Royal. So I think he's trying to play that initial Marine Scout play where every once in a while you'll catch a Protoss opponent with his pants down and a probe out in open field and get a kill there. This is also possible where he's going to go for one racks into expansion. And this is, uh, you can see where the command center comes alongside and the supply depot uh, up here creates that degree of blockade. I think that's actually more likely the play now that I think about it. A simulator warping in with the cybernetics core, initial zealot being skipped. Only a single probe and gas thus far, thus far, the second being trickled in, and it looks like they're the third being tacked on, but just being tacked on summarily, rather than all at once. And it look, yeah, it looks like it's going to be initial, kind of an interesting placement. Usually I've seen it placed a little bit more forward, like to that uh, to that location. There's the uh, depot to the north to try to create that nice wall against initial pressure. No marine being produced. Command center first. As I say that, the marine being constructed. Not my best opener <laughs> for commentary here. Zealot making his way out to do the initial scouting. And it looks like he's going to go cross map from initial trajectory. Range being upgraded from Snow, so not skipping range to get the faster Reaver out. The Zealot should have some trouble if it does manage to get to this upper left-hand corner because the bunker already being constructed. Might be able to get a run by, depending on the timing of this, to get additional information, but that second base is definitely putting Royal way ahead economically because we don't even see movements to grabbing an additional Nexus out of Snow yet. So Snow, if he is going to go for a follow-up Reaver Harass, needs to make it count. First Dragoon making its way to the top left. Three Marines staging forward. Three Marines does beat a Dragoon in an open field. SAV making its way out there as well. Yeah, so needs to be careful with this, especially without range. But Snow trying to micro it, getting attack of damage on two, not able to wipe one out. The Zealot going to join alongside, but that SAV was able to slip through the lines. And now Snow... Moving a Dragoon to the south, making sure that an SCV wasn't hiding behind those, behind that corner. The SCV, so looking to engage the SCV, he's hunting for that SCV as that Nexus is planted, but that SCV went end around and is going to take the long route, potentially to confirm that natural expansion. Barracks floating forward to continue that seal. Keep an eye on that one. Or at the very least, potentially could confirm movement towards a third. Dragoon still scouting out and around. Probe finds that SCV. SCV scatters. Dragoon going to move forward. Isn't going to be able to stop that SCV from uh, confirming this natural, though. Not without his friend in place. And actually might even be able to get all the way up into the main. So going to be able to get into the main. Probe not quite there in time. And sees only a single gateway. Which has to leave Royal to believe that this is going to be a faster third. And I believe Snow was thinking about going for a faster third. But upon getting scouted... Instead, dropping that robotics facility. Dragoon with range, tacking away at the front. Second machine shop being planted. 
three Dragoons grouping up, but four SCVs there to repair to make sure that bunker stays healthy. Fourth Dragoon trailing. Second Nexus, and this is coming online. You can just look at the, the difference here. The Zealot actually shooting the gap. A couple of SCVs getting wiped out as a result. But still a sizable economic lead from Royal. Snow really wanted to take that bunker down. At the very least, keeping a number of SCVs off the line. Now saturating that natural expansion and applying a good amount of pressure. It looks like two siege tanks being produced, but vulture upgrades still happening behind it. One siege tank freaking out, not quite sure where to attack. It needs to be very careful with this siege tank because with four Dragoons, even three Dragoons, they can very quickly make a snapshot, pick that first siege tank off. Trying to micro forward, not quite able to hit it. That barracks lifted off. Let's see if that, no, it's going to the south rather than the north. I was looking to see if it was going to protect that siege tank. A second siege tank out. And mines now being upgraded behind this. Robotics support bay on the front. Dragoon's plugging that gap. So now Snow is going to have to rely on his reaver play because he is five workers down. Second gateway in place. And in a tough situation with the three siege tanks and potentially more to come. Let's see if some mines get planted to the north. The opportunity for Reaver Harass might be a little bit more challenging. Armory being constructed, vultures checking the north, two dragoons just pecking away at what they can. That nine o'clock base being scouted out, but it looks like Snow is going to go ahead and grab this six o'clock base. Zealot waiting to get scooped up with its... I think all Zealots must be... I don't want to say twins because it's kind of like an infinite number of duplicates. They all look the same. But no, not being scooped up in the shuttle. So it's just going to be a Reaver. Maybe a Dragoon will group up alongside. Vultures streaming out. Looks like Vultures were able to, first of all, wipe out that probe at the 6 o'clock. Looks like that Vulture got the kill. And plop mines to slow down this third. So now Snow in a lot of trouble here. Now the two Zealots have been scooped up. Maybe an afterthought. Good mine coverage, though, so he's going to have trouble finding an angle. There is a defensive turret on that bunker towards the front, and Royal, actually, starting to stage out towards that 12 o'clock base, and unfortunately moving out right as this shuttle's moving in. Trying to find an angle, that's drawing a lot of these troops back, which is warranted. Got to respect the shuttle. And now it's a question of, does Snow accidentally drop on top of any mines, or does he find a window to get into the main? Plus one weapons researching behind this, by the way. Does spot that three o'clock base being built. He's grabbing that nine o'clock now that that's been cleared out. Hasn't managed to empty out of this yet, trailing a lot of this army. Dragoon's slipping through the gap to go ahead and clear those mines with that observer. But Snow, yeah, not getting a lot. So not only was his third greatly delayed, Royal going to, once again, like it just seems characteristic of him, being able to get the economic lead in the mid-game time and time again. So 9 o'clock base being constructed. Royal, however, is going to have that third up, is close to even on supply. This Reaver and Shuttle has done very little for Snow, uncharacteristically. And as a result, Royal looking fantastic moving into the mid-game, once again. And let's see if Snow looks like his answer is to drop a lot of gateways, maybe go for a massive timing attack to crush one location or another. Reaver trying to do damage here on the low ground, forcing cancellation of his supply depot, so at least some damage done there. Shuttle speed has been upgraded. So pulling it out. Second shuttle out in the field, and I'm wondering if we're going to see triple shuttle. Yeah, that shuttle meta once again. Very, very powerful on Ascension. But it feels almost more of a desperation maneuver here from Snow rather than a, okay, I'm going to take advantage of my previous position. Two, as I say that, two shuttles sneaking in, one getting taken out at the natural. Reaver lands, gets a shot off, didn't get a lot out of it. Nice defense. And it looks like both of those shuttles were taken out. And with that, Royal officially able to close the supply gap. He's starting to move out as plus one weapons is just about to finish. And I don't know that Snow has enough to defend that nine o'clock. 
Another shuttle scooting, scooting in to maybe do some Zealot Bombs. The Zealots are able to get on that forward grouping of Siege Tanks. The Dragoon's pressing in from that right and actually catching Royal while he was a little bit overextended. Able to slip through that gap. However, a lot of Dragoon's getting wiped out. And Royal's still macroing behind this. St stutter stepping his way back across. Looks like those Vultures were cleared out of the 9 o'clock. Royal continuing to press forward with this, though with reinforcements. A photon cannon is up. It's not going to last long. And that is forcing Snow's hand. Snow continuing to engage. The Dragoon's getting caught on that turret with the Zealots. So they're getting wiped out. Now three siege tanks are in the lower position at the 9 o'clock. And Snow does not have a lot to defend. He's going to have to defend from the high ground. So Royal in a great position, plopping more factories behind this to continue the pressure. A pylon being dropped at the six o'clock, maybe to get a third base up. But right now, Royal, three bases versus two, and he's threatening Snow's third. Dragoon's peeling out, maybe to go for a counterattack at the 12 o'clock, as it is currently undefended. It'll take some time to get through that supply depot. And honestly, Royal is in a strong enough position where I don't know that he's going to be all that concerned. Maybe a few reinforcements looks like some siege tanks are making their way back. Some group repair should deal with this. Snow currently in the red as that nexus is down at the 9 o'clock. SCV's group repairing. Looks like that front has been opened up, so five dragoons making their way across. SCV's now attacking with the siege tanks from the rear. Royal repositioning a lot of the attack forces back to the main. Looks like some zealots mixed it up at the natural, forcing some troops out of that location. I think a dropship's been spotted, so Royal saying like, you know what? You like drops, I like drops too. I'm potentially going to follow this up. Cannon being, con or sorry, second pylon is waiting for a cannon to be constructed there at the 6 o'clock, but it looks like, no, the forge is still standing. Dragoon's continuing to pile in to that 12 o'clock. But the Dragoon's finally getting flushed out didn't really disrupt any mining here so this is still three mining bases for royal and i think snow that was just kind of the last second like i can do something and it's like that last second like throwing the last punch as a boxer before you throw in the towel sort of thing it's like i could have done something here but well played by royal top to bottom gg there from snow as he just economically couldn't keep up which just seems to be the case time and time again with royal in his tvp matches just finds ways to get ahead and sneak that quick expansion to stay ahead of his opponents. Great play. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.